Hey, what's up? Ray Delvecchio here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com, and today we'll talk about four hosting companies that I think are great for starting your first WordPress website. Or maybe you chose a small company that's just not working for you and you want to transfer your website to a new hosting company. I think these are four very reliable choices that you can feel good about when you launch your website. And I'll also share a little more experience I have with two other hosting companies that I'm not really the biggest fan of. But we'll dig into all that in just a few minutes here. And for today, I'm going to assume a couple things. The first is that for all the information I'm going to provide, this is for one domain and one website, which normally means you're going to opt for one of the starter packages through these companies. The other thing is the pricing that I'm giving you per month is based on a three-year term. So a lot of these companies offer anywhere between monthly terms, one-year term, two-year terms, or three years. None of them seem to offer more than a three-year term. That always gives you the best price. And all of these packages are going to renew at a slightly higher price than what you get with that initial discount on that first invoice. And the last thing here that I have to mention is that we, we got to assume that you're a beginner, but also more importantly that you're ready to learn because there is a, a little bit of a learning curve with WordPress. I'm sure every beginner and even intermediate WordPress user knows this, but once you realize how powerful WordPress is, it's well worth it to learn it. It doesn't take that long. And the same thing goes for web hosting. It takes a little bit of time to get comfortable with it. I mean, this is learning anything new, really. This is not just web hosting. But in the tech world, people always love blaming the, the computers, the companies. They don't like looking inward. With most of these things, you can just Google and find solutions. Otherwise, you can open up a support chat and get the company to help you. And so many people overthink the tech part of it, thinking that you know you invest in the absolute best hosting you can, and that's going to catapult your website. If you're a beginner, you got to start putting content out there because you need people to connect with your message and your ideas. <laughs> Otherwise, the hosting doesn't really matter. So my best advice is just pick one of these companies, go with it. And you could always adjust on the fly down the road if you need to. That's the beauty of WordPress. It's so flexible. So the first company here is HostGator. And this is the company that I moved to after I went with a couple smaller companies. And one of them actually shut down without even informing their customers completely lost access to the website I had been building. But luckily at that point, I didn't have any clients. It was just a little, you know, small personal project. So when that happened, I decided to move over to one of the bigger companies because reliability was really big for me. At first I was choosing completely based on price. And nowadays HostGator is so big that they give you the best of both worlds. They're the most affordable way to start your website. The price here for a 36 month term is 275 a month and they give you unmetered space and bandwidth. So unless you're really gonna be a power user and push the limits of their servers, you don't have to worry about either of those things. So I highly recommend them to get started. I still have many of my local client websites on HostGator, and I've also had other friends that I've helped them convert their website to HostGator. And just a quick note, I'm an affiliate with all of these companies. That means that I do get a commission if you sign up using my links. And that goes to support my website to make sure that I can create free tutorials and content like this video. I also have a free training series to learn WordPress that I'll mention at the end of the video. So stick around for that. And even though I mentioned the three-year discount, if you want to just go for one year, you can get a better than advertised price by using my coupon code, which is WPC3. So if you either use that coupon code or go to the link below, which is WebsiteProfitCourse.com slash HostGator, you can get set up with their hassling plan package. And I'll link up a video here that shows you exactly how to set up your account and install WordPress. The other thing I want to share here is some data on the speed of the website. So this is a client website of mine that I've been managing for probably something like 10 years now. And we started as an HTML website and we converted it to WordPress probably about five to six years ago. And this is a, a look at his website speed. So this is a photo heavy website, a local client. Like I said, it doesn't get a ton of traffic. I would say probably on average, maybe anywhere between 20 to 40 visitors a day. We've also advertised before, which has bumped that number up. But on average here, this is showing you the time in milliseconds. And you can see that the average time to download a page is about 990 milliseconds. So that's just about a second. And the high here is 1.5 seconds. The next company here is Bluehost. And here's a fun fact. I don't know if you know this, but WordPress 
powers something like 30% of the internet. And if you translate that into a number, it's roughly 450 million websites. And so when WordPress recommends a company, I'm usually going to take that pretty seriously. And the first one that they recommend is Bluehost. That's their primary company that they recommend that you start your WordPress website with. So that is coming right from the source. They're a little bit more expensive than HostGator, but still extremely affordable at $3.95 a month. And they have a slight upgrade on HostGator in that they're giving you a solid state hard drive for storage. They do limit that to 50 gigabytes instead of giving you unlimited, but they do give you unlimited bandwidth. I just set up a Bluehost website for my friend. He wants to write about music and just random thoughts on, on life and philosophy. So we decided on the domain name musicphilosopher.com. And I'll link up that video where I set up his website and created a Bluehost account to install WordPress. And the cool thing about Bluehost is that they actually link your login information with your WordPress account. So you don't even need to log into WordPress. You can just log into Bluehost and they have a one click button to go right to your WordPress admin panel. So that's one feature they have that these other hosting companies do a little bit differently. Normally you have two separate accounts for your hosting company and your WordPress. So if you'd like to get set up with them, go to websiteprofitcourse.com slash Bluehost. The third company here is, I think the company that is most loved around the internet. I mean, I've never seen so many reviews of people who absolutely love this company and that's SiteGround. They are also one of the three companies to get recommended by WordPress itself. And they also give you the same introductory price, which is amazing, at $3.95 a month. The renewal price is slightly higher, but they do give you the best customer support, the most personal customer support. They have a lot of options built in and wizards to start your WordPress website. And you can see here, they also give you solid state storage. They give you a 10 gigabyte hard drive, which is more than enough for 95% of websites. You know, unless you're loading it up with ridiculously high quality images. And they do bandwidth instead of doing it based on a number, they do it based on visits. So it's 10,000 visits monthly. And as a beginner, you know, it's kind of a dream to get to that number. I think SiteGround is the best performance for the price out of all of these companies. I think if you have any issues setting up your site, that they're going to go above and beyond to help you out. The last company recommendation I have here is the newest one, but I really love them. This is Kinsta. And I moved my two blogs over from HostGator to Kinsta because I originally had all my sites, both personal and client websites on one package. And as my blog started getting more traffic around the globe, that was driving down the performance across every single website. So I decided to separate them. And I did research on companies that were a step above the basic plans that really focused on performance because that's what I needed. Two of the options I had were Kinsta and SiteGround. And I ended up going with Kinsta because they're a hundred percent focused on WordPress optimization. With all the other hosting companies I mentioned before, you can actually do other apps. You can install other software besides WordPress. With Kinsta, it is a hundred percent optimized to run your WordPress site as fast as possible. And so they offer a starter package for $25 a month. And they do, as far as I can tell, max one year term. So if you want to go month to month, that's going to be $30 a month. But usually if you're looking to upgrade to you know, a better host, you're in it for the long haul. So I would highly recommend that you go for their one year term. And they also give you 10 gigabytes of solid state storage. They give you double the bandwidth with about 20,000 visits monthly. And I had a couple issues transferring my website from HostGator to Kinsta. I was just unsure of a few things. And I can tell you their customer service, they also went above and beyond to help me with some technical issues that I think bigger companies may not have been as knowledgeable about because of the scale that they operate. Since Kinst is in a really strong growth phase with their company, you know, customer support is super important to them. And especially since they're WordPress focused, they could be a little bit more technical on the WordPress side. And one important note of Kinst because they're so focused on performance, they don't do email hosting. With all these other accounts, you can set up email you know, under your domain name. With Kinsta, you can still do it, but it's just they're not gonna host it. So they recommend either going with Google Suite or the way that I did it, which they actually provide a tutorial on how to do this, is use a free service called mailgun.com. And I just went through their tutorial to set that up and my email's working perfectly. 
I just forward all my incoming emails to my Gmail account and I have it set up in my Gmail account to send through my domain name using this mail gun. So if you're 100% looking to increase the speed of your website, I think Kinsta is the best company that you can go with. Check them out at WebsiteProfitCourse.com slash Kinsta. And just to show you the results here, this is the speed of my website with the average being 340 milliseconds. And moving over to Kinsta improved my performance, I think it was something like 10 times. <laughs> you know, I was going through a period where the average download time had increased a lot because of the number of visits. You know, a shared package is not meant for super high traffic. It's meant for the people who want to get online fast and affordable with a reliable company. And I want to share two other hosting companies that I've had experience with through client websites. I've never used them with a personal website, but I've had to log in and manage WordPress websites on these hosts. And the first one is DreamHost. This is actually the third company that WordPress recommends. And so even though I'm sure they are a great company, I could just tell you I have one WordPress website for a client hosted on them. He manages you know, that account. That's why it's not on my host. And his average speed is 1.5 seconds, which is not, not bad, but it's not as good as we got with HostGator and Kinsta. And the next company here, I, I have to X them out because I've dealt with probably something like eight to 10 hosting companies and domain providers over the years of working with websites. This is by far the worst company I've dealt with. I would never recommend anybody use them. And if you are using them, I'd recommend you switch as fast as you can. <laughs> and that's Network Solutions. The speed here is not as bad as I'm making it seem. Their average speed is 1.4 seconds. But I've had tons of periods of time where this is way worse. I still don't think they offer free SSL certificates, which gives you that HTTPS, which is a secure way to browse the web. I don't think they offer that on their most basic packages, which all these other companies do. So that's all I got for you today. I hope you got something out of this video and realized that the most important thing is just to start as soon as possible and get your ideas and your content online because that is what drives growth, you know, not saving a millisecond here or there. You can trust all these companies. I have experience with all of them either through my own websites, through friends or family who have websites that I help them with, or also through my subscribers. So I'll put all of these links in the description below. And then if you want to take your website to the next level, you got to learn WordPress. So I put together a free WordPress training that'll help you with that. You'll get a complete overview of the WordPress admin area and how you can manage and edit your website. So if you want to sign up for that free training series, go to WebsiteProfitCourse.com slash WP101. I'll also put that link below in the description. And last but not least, if this video helped you start with WordPress, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel since that's the main focus of my website. I went all in on WordPress many years ago after I started with code, HTML and CSS, and I realized that if you want to build a content-heavy website that you publish to all the time, WordPress is the best way to manage that. I don't think that's changed in the last 10 years, and I envision using WordPress for probably at least the next 10 years, if not longer than that. So I advise you to do the same thing. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to continue to put out videos. And if you have any questions or ideas for training that you'd like to see, leave a comment below. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you have a great day, and I want to see you launch your website this year.